I think we can leave the details up to the others. I find this hard to say without sounding condescending, but I'm proud of you. Thank you. I think we can let in the other suits now. Let's continue the meeting. All right, gentlemen, sit down. Please, what was this all about? It's all yours, Phil. Finish it up. Hold it. Hold it. It's all in sight. It's all in sight. Can someone please tell me what the fuck is going on here? Mr. Lewis and I are going to build ships together. Great big ships. You know, I think I'm going to go for a walk. I'll just stay here for a while. I'll be back. Yes, sir, Mr. Lewis. I gotta get going. Yes, I noticed you packed. Why are you leaving now? Edward, there'll always be some guy, even some friend of yours, thinking he can treat me like Stucky, thinking that it's allowed. What are you gonna do? You gonna beat up everybody? That's not why you're leaving. You made me a really nice offer. And a few months ago, no problem, but now everything is different and you changed that and you can't change back. 
I want more. I know about wanting more. I invented the concept. The question is how much more? I want the fairy tale. Impossible relationship. My special gift is impossible relationships. We should be lonely now. I didn't do it, sir. No, no, I, I didn't say that. I want you to call maintenance and have them deal with this. You must delegate authority. Yes, sir. Hi, Barney. Miss Vivian. Thank you. I wanted to say goodbye. Well, then I gather you're not accompanying Mr. Lewis to New York. Come on, Barney. You and me live in the real world most of the time. Have you arranged for transportation? I'm going to call Cap. Allow me. Yes, sir. Please take Miss Vivian anywhere she wishes to go. Yes, sir. It's been a pleasure knowing you. Come and visit us again sometime. Stay cool.
and leave all this? Not in a million. <laughs> Come here. Lewis scholarship fund. We think you got a lot of potential, kids, Luca. You do? You think I got potential? Oh, yeah. Don't let anybody tell you different, okay? Take care of you. Uh -huh. No, I can't. I can't. It's your favorite. <laughs> what time's your bus? An hour? Yeah, well, I gotta split because goodbyes make me crazy, so take care of you. Whoa. <laughs> Miss Lewis, you don't have any messages for me, do you? No, I am afraid not, sir. I'll need a car to the airport also. Of course, Daryl will take you wherever you need to go. Daryl, the limousine out front, please. Yes, sir. Thank you, boy. One last thing. If you could possibly return this to Fred's for me, please. Yes, of course. May I, sir? Of course, please. It must be difficult to let go of something so beautiful. You know, Daryl also drove Miss Vivian home yesterday. I'll take care of it. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Your plane is leaving as scheduled, sir. And you should be back in New York on time.